Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It is October 23rd of 2023. Today I'm going to show you a much easier guide to dump or back up your game cartridges. Um, I recently just went out today. I bought myself the new Sonic game for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I already booted up into the uh, modded um, back end of the Nintendo Switch because my V1 is already modded. I'm going to show you how to dump this game cart um, instead of using NX uh, Tool Dump or NX Dump Tool, I'm going to be using something called DBI. Um, it's so much easier, it's quicker, well, it's not really quicker though, but it's definitely much easier than using the NX Dump Tool. Um, so let me pop this bad boy in. As you see, a Sonic disappeared. Let's go down to album, and we're going to be using this application right there, DBI. I like it. Um, it's quicker. Um, I shouldn't say qu I keep saying quicker, but it really isn't. It still takes the same amount of time to dump a game cart as it is going over here. Um, NX dump tool. What you're going to do with the NX dump tool? You go to game cart um, content. It's going to read the game cart, of course. And it says content size, 10.3 gigabytes. Now you have no option but to split the file into two because of the format of the SD card. So now you have, to, once the game card is done, you have to merge the two files into one, which takes a little bit more time. Um, this way, what I'm going to be showing you right now is going to be something totally easier. And it, you don't have to do that. So you open up DBI. Scroll down to run MTP responder. You put your uh, console down. You get yourself a USB C. You're going to plug this to the bottom of your Nintendo Switch. And you're going to plug the other side into um, the either a laptop or a PC. So I'm going to do that. We're going to connect and we're going to go over to uh, my laptop and I'm going to show you what else you have to do with um, dumping the game cart. So please stick with me. All right, people, since we um, plugged in the USB cord from the Nintendo Switch to my laptop right here, as you can tell, um, I'm going to hit run M MTP responder right now. You might have heard a few noises. Okay. That's working right now. What you want to do, you want to go to the File Explorer. Now you see right under here, underneath your main drive, you get Switch. This is your SD card where you set up everything. Now this is your actual game card. Now the game, do game card certificate, you don't want to mess with. You don't want to send it out to anybody. It's just these two files um, you are more interested in. So... I'm going to do this one at a time. Now this is going to this is going to take a while to drag over because it's a 14.8 gigabyte file. So once this um, file gets done copying over to my laptop's desktop, um, we'll go from there. So I'll catch you. Um, it says 26 minutes. I'll catch you sometime. All right. Uh, the file just got done transferring over from the game cart from the console itself to my desktop. What you want to do now is I want to go to right click, right, right click properties. It says fourteen point eight gig, eight gigabyte. Now, if you have a program called XCI Explorer, you want to load it up. I'm going to confirm to you that it is a legit game. There you go. There's all the information. Now, the ROM size file is fourteen point eight which you see right there. Now, if you want to trim this down, because there's, I guess, like dummy files, I call it bloatware that comes on the game card itself, just to fill up the rest remaining of the of the um, size of the um, game card. Um, if you're going to trim it, it's going to jump down to 10.772 gigabytes. Um, or you could leave this as is, 14.8, but it's going to take up a little bit more room on your SD card. So it's totally up to you guys. Now, if I trim this, 
There you go. 10.72. It deletes all the bloatware, the dummy files and whatnot that are actually um, on the game card itself, on that file. So let's exit out of this. Go back to this file. Right-click Properties. 10.7. There you go. Now this is trimmed. Right-click Properties 10.7. So it's totally up to you whether you want to transfer over the trimmed version of the game you uh, you want to back up or you want to actually back up the whole like legit game card itself with the bloatware with the um, with the dummy files but it's going to cost you it's going to be 14.8 instead of the 10.7 gigs so it's totally up to you depending on how big your SD card is um, you could pick either or and that's how you um, transfer games, back up your game cards um, with uh, DBI instead of Next Tool Dump or Next NX Dump Tool or whatever the hell it's called. I prefer this. It's it's, eh, it's semi easier, but you do have to wait because they're big files, so you have to wait like thirty minutes for them to get done transferring over. Um, if you do use the NX Dump Tool, like I said earlier, they're gonna have to dump in two separate files. And you're going to need a program called SAC. And you're going to need to use this button right here, XCI Merge. You need to open up and you're going to need to um, splice in um, a file that creates uh, one big file. Um, so it's totally up to you whether, whether or not you want to use that NX Dump tool or the DBI um, application. I prefer this because there's no splitting... I mean, there's no merging of files whatsoever. You just drag and drop, whether you want the trimmed or the full game itself, the both full games, but it depends on this, um, the size of your game uh, SD card. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I am out of here.